By now at six, serious accusations against a Navy officer who's now locked up in Hampton Roads. What we know tonight about charges of espionage against the man who has some ties to a local aircraft carrier. We begin at six with new details on that case that could potentially threaten national security. Oh, we first got wind of this story over the weekend. Sources say the Navy charged Lieutenant Commander Edward Lynn with espionage. Lynn is assigned to the Navy's Commander Patrol and Recognizance Group, and we've also learned that Lynn spent time stationed on the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower as it was on deployment years ago in the Middle East. Ten on your side, Deanna LeBlanc joins us with more on the charges. Deanna? Anita, while the Navy is staying tight-lipped about much of the details through sources, we've learned Lynn may have been given secret information to China. He had an Article 32 hearing similar to a preliminary hearing on several charges this past Friday. Deep behind the walls of the brig in Chesapeake sits Lieutenant Commander Edward Lin. The Taiwan-born naturalized citizen is now facing a litany of spy charges that carry a maximum punishment of the death penalty. Though these heavily redacted documents provided by the Navy don't exactly say who gave what information to whom, they do say an active duty sailor gave away secret information, quote, with intent or reason to believe it would be used to the advantage of a foreign nation. While the Navy won't say what country he gave the information to, several outlets report he was handing it over to China. According to the New York Times, Lin gave secret information to a Chinese girlfriend. But what would he give? Lin worked with EP-3 Ares aircraft, most recently in Hawaii. The Ares gather signal intelligence. They're essentially spy planes. They gather voice and data communications and record video. Much of the information on what the planes do and how they do it is highly classified. The papers show Lynn now faces two counts of espionage, three counts of filling out false travel papers, lying about the country he was going to, and five counts communicating defense information. Right now, Lynn's case sits in the hands of the U.S. Fleet Forces Commander Admiral Davidson. It's up to him to decide if he'll take those charges and refer them to court martial. A source with knowledge of the proceedings tells me there's no specific timeline for that decision, but it typically takes about 10 days. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.